Life is full of examples of bad design. Cases where a structure, system, or process has an obvious design flaw that could easily have been made differently by a being that miraculously created life separately. A good example of this is the left recurrent laryngeal nerve. In mammals, the vagus nerve descends from the brain and down the neck. At some point, the left recurrent laryngeal nerve branches off from the vagus nerve into the chest, under the aorta, then back up out of the chest, back through the neck again, and finally innervates the larynx, a pathway of about three feet in humans. This nerve helps us to speak and swallow. Damage to it, such as from a blow to the chest, thyroid cancer, or a tumor or aneurysm in the aortic arch, causes paralysis to the larynx. The only thing this nerve does is to innervate the larynx. It has no nerve attachments to any other organ or structure. It passes along this circuitous pathway. This is a particularly inefficient way to innervate the larynx in giraffes, where the extra length of the nerve is absurd, about 15 feet longer than the direct route, making nervous signal transmission to the larynx costly and slow. Now, for big biblical creationists, errors of this sort can only have arisen after the fall of mankind, when Adam and Eve introduced sin and death into the world after eating the forbidden fruit. Before that time, everything was created separately and perfectly, so under creationism, for all mammals to have this design flaw, some mechanism would have to create a very specific and complex set of mutations all at once so that when the next generation developed, the nerve was taken from a more direct route to the larynx to one that crossed under the aorta along an inefficient circuitous pathway. Not only would this complex set of mutations have to miraculously happen in giraffes, but it would have to miraculously happen the same way in every mammal kind so that all future generations had the same error. So if we examine this structure from the viewpoint of creationism, we are left pondering the motives of a god who would go around stretching nerves out and flipping them under aortas all throughout class mammalia, or what purpose a perfect god starting from scratch might have for making all mammals with such an obvious design flaw to begin with. However, if, if we look at this in the light of evolution, not only does this conundrum disappear, we actually are provided with a clear explanation of how this situation occurred. Anatomically, the left recurrent laryngeal nerve is homologous to the fourth vagus nerve. In fish, this nerve runs directly from the brain to one of the gills, just behind the sixth arterial arch. As is observable during the mammalian development, in embryos, this arterial arch descends to become the ductus arteriosus. Evolution cannot simply flip the order of structures in the vertebrate body plan. It can only modify them gradually from a pre-existing state. Thus, we are stuck with a suboptimal situation arrived at by haphazard modifications of pre-existing nervous and circulatory systems. So which do you think makes more sense here? A miraculous, highly flawed design by a perfect being, a functionally identical complex bundle of mutations in all mammals from an initial perfect state before the fall, or a historical accident resulting from descent with modification. You decide.